President Tunubu's administration economic policies have been compared to the structural adjustment programs of 1986 to 1989, raising concerns about their potential impact on the present-day economy. In a recent national broadcast, President Tunubu addressed the nation explaining the reasons behind its policies measures to combat economic challenges. But what do Nigerians think about these policies? It's on this premise that Signature Television took to the streets to find out what Nigerians think about President Bola Ahmed Tunubu's economy reality, especially as it affects the average Nigerian. Honestly, uh, I'm highly disappointed personally. I'm not happy with what is happening in the country. We voted this administration purposely thinking that they will bring the change we wanted. But we are highly disappointed. Look, look at the, the way the economy is going. Things, things are skyrocketing every minute that passes by. You understand my point? Every minute that passes by, price of goods and services is skyrocketing. Things are not, are, are, are not affordable. So, 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 so we, we, like I said earlier, I am highly disappointed. We have lost confidence in this administration. I'm telling you the truth. In every perspective, you discover that the prices of things is so high. And we are pleading with the Nigerian government, at least they should try to control the price in the market so that the common man can afford it. That is what I see. I don't want to talk about the system, but I'm praying that the Lord will help the, the, our leaders to look into the poor masses who could not pay rent, could not go to the market to buy things. And those who are having six, seven children, a mood of rice, you know how much to feed the family. That they, I'm, I'm pleading for the government to help us to reduce the prices of things. Uh, the economic policy of our uh, able president, President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, is not too friendly to the people of the country. You can see there is inflation in food prices, and the fuel is, uh, is, no, is too much. I uh, will pray that this policy, people, his advisors, will look at uh, the hardship of the country and I see how to reduce the pump price. When you reduce the fuel price, I think things will be normal. Although the government has good intention, because when the government came in, many people thought, yeah, the government will really fix the economy of the country. What is happening in the system, I want to tell you truly that is the sabotage. There's a certain group of Nigerians that are afraid that Tinubu's government has not, has not, um, has not, uh, they have not benefited from that with the government and so they will sabotage the government. Whatever economic policy he has brought, they will make sure they sabotage it. That is exactly what is happening in this country. Generally, the, the policy of the government at the moment and as a nation, we are not ready for that because it's a country where all things to be in place. That is the only way we can, we can be able to achieve their dream. Because if you look at the tax policy at the moment, the governors are against it. I'm sure they've studied critically. And as a nation at the moment, I don't think that tax will be of any good benefit at the moment. It can be suspended and still be looked into generally as well. It is clear that Nigerians have mixed opinions about President Tunubu's policy. While some are optimistic about the potential benefits, others are skeptical and concerned about the impact of their livelihoods. The roads are empty. People are lamenting. Inflation has become a subject matter on everybody's lips. While to a lot of people, the economic policy of the government seems very strange and abnormal. Will the government be able to improve on these policies? Will the government be able to find alternative routes on how to better the lot of Nigeria? In the coming days, we'll get to find out from the government on some of the policies going to put in place to revamp the entire economy of Nigeria. I am Godwin Sunday, and this is Signature Television.